Hello and welcome back. In case you forgot the name of the game. So we're at our third junction. This one seems peculiar. This thing growing inside me. Is it a baby? I've been fighting it for six hard years. Okay, it's not a baby. <laughs> Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And he wanted and to kill her. had taken her away from me. Fat would have killed her. Was it Hatch? How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, is your illness talking? I'm on your side. No, he's not. I read the email. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. It was you. Uh, sir, uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I don't know why... I mean, obviously, no, I know why Paul Serene wouldn't be aware, but... Jack should know. He read the email. Figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Amaral doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. It's you. She isn't. It's you and that Clarence on water, whatever the fucking name is. I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Actually, before I do... See, if I hadn't read the narrative objects, I probably would have trusted him. I should have been here. Somebody made a false report. Sent me to the tunnels to divert my attention. Like I said, people working against you. Who was cool. that on the radio? We're still working on that. I'm surprised Beth Wilder was even able to pull that off. I need to look, see if there's more stuff around. I kind of like, though, that you wouldn't know if it wasn't for the, um... The email. I mean, I guess you could kind of guess based on the fact that he organized the shooting against himself, but even so. But I don't think he's doing it to save time. I think he's doing it just because he wants to be in charge. So without Somebody further ado. Was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Oh, it's Hatch. I don't know why I thought it was Fat. I only trust one of them. Well, let's see what they say for Hatch first. All right, Amaral, let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. Then she took them away. No, if she turned you against did. me with what she knew. The damage could be immeasurable. Alright, let's see what it says for Amaral. Or oh, Am. Jeez, I'm so bad at saying names. Immediately, so I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure, like she's seen it before, like she knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Good point. I mean, realistically, if she wanted him dead, she just had to do nothing. She had to actively save his life. I mean, what did she really get from it? 
It's like she even said like she keep wanting to try new stuff. Even when he said not to. <coughs> but you know what? I know outright that's hatched because of the email, so. Sophia's data has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. He's on to you, Hatch. Oop, and here comes the guy Sir, with the info. People on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. Whoa. Wait, the... Why did you let her work with you? Been here the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Question remains, why did you let her work with you? All right, here's the new episode. The treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. There's no changing the inevitable time. There's just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. That was pretty cool. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? You know, even though Martin's an asshole, he's still really badass. It's Dr. Kim. I mean, not like in the sense like, you know, guns blazing, but more just like that like, quiet dignity when he's doing everything to stop you. Why do you take the spare? I mean, what's the point? I thought maybe he was going to stick it on her when I first saw her, but... Why take it off? Oh wait, now he's just... Okay, that makes more sense. So it doesn't explain why he took two. Ah, the question remains, what does he need that stuff for? Maybe it's not medicine, maybe he's using it to like, see the future or something. It gives him visions. Oop, he's gonna go straight to Hatch. Looks like Hatch is an ally. Oh my... Oh right, yeah, that was me. <laughs> I was about to say, what happened? Oh wait, no, that wasn't... Huh, my mistake, I thought that was some destruction. What did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. It's a good goal. Essential personnel. 
So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Uh, Not under Paul Williams' lead, you wouldn't. Oh. He's failed to see the value of his own people. This is clever. Grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion on this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Saloon. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Saloon's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. Tony, what's time. your end goal? And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over. Get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Hmm, this is concerning. That's good. I put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Alright, so he's going to look for the CFR. Now, the question is, does Hatch really intend to put him on the list? Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. Because, I mean, I don't believe for a moment he'd make him his right-hand man. The frequency of the stars is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Shit. Mr. Suri, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. I think their consistent use of all these time powers has sped it up. <laughs> oh, that was funny. He just doesn't give a crap. Time's in, Nick. Just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol? It's a place. Wait, what's he doing? They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list, and anyone who's not on it is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I, I need to ask on the list. 
Oh, he's trying him. Is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? He's pulling hatch. There's a tunnel. All right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! I'm tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. Ooh. Jeez. He's fine. I don't know you hit his neck. I don't think he's fine. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. By the way, unless I've already said it because my memory sucks, apologies for any background noise during today's recording. Unfortunately, given the heat, I have to keep the windows open, but that keeps the door flapping, even if it gets pushed shut. I believe that this has technically been less than a day. Pulling this off though. I know he planned it, but I thought now that you know the other one doesn't trust him. I've come to free you, my friend. This imprisonment. It's unsettling. He's gonna kill him. It's time for you to rejoin the others. To return to the infinite. Okay, now I am really curious. Like, is that just like some final moment before he kills him, or? Because I mean, really, I mean, is that really living? He's just trapped as like some stutter thing. He's gonna blow it up with them in there. He's not even gonna wait for him to leave. Okay, he's talking about covering your tracks. You know, instead of wasting time, if you want to get away, now's your chance to run. Stop wasting time. Ah, you are a dumbass. They're gonna come back right as you walk away. Or is he changing his mind? What the fuck is that? We're under the bay. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. He changed his mind. I can respect that. Oh. 
this was Hatch's way of killing Charl Charlie Wincott then, it seemed kind of excessive. Freezes, can you walk on water? You do okay? <coughs> yeah, yeah. I'm good. We need to get on the fucking ground. Hey, ground. No, 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 we're with Monarch. What don't you hey, understand? No, get on the ground. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one to call it in. I'm at this guy. One guy. Yeah. Who's she? She's Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. The fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Gibson, take out for Fiona. 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 I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do, huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. It's about you, Charlie. Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. Rejected. Just one guy, I'm surprised. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Ooh! You kinda knew that would be a definite. Well, Wincott's dead. Or he's about to be. <laughs> Commander Davis. Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. And you killed them. He sees him betraying him. No, wait, no, he's seeing other stuff. Paul, what about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. If you don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! You let this happen! He made it happen. Jack. He wants me to become you. He wants me to suffer until the end. That's not true. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them into Kim's lab. It was Beth. She paid a visit while well, she was thought to be missing minutes before the explosion. Clever use of the fingerprint thing. Paul. He's no idiot, though. Paul, we... 
Cole, will you listen to me? Look, it's time you seek her for who she really is. Come on, Paul. This was a party gift. They forced her. She's trying to destroy you. She's Paul. trying to help me. Oh, Jesus. Look at you. The smartest man I know. Blinded by a fool's love. Jesus, I swear, what is it about this guy? Paul, Even when you know when he's lying through his oil. teeth, you find it a bit believable. She's gotten inside your head. She's always been wild. You need to think about if this. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. I wonder if this will cure his Cronon sy 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 yeah. syndrome. Might want to go and push Hatch out of there. I don't think he's going insane like he is acting out to be. They're the essentials. Just bringing them in. Doctor Holden, what the hell is it? The protocol has been initiated. I need to wake my family. They can't come. I'm afraid we have no time. Jeez, he's he left them pretty damn easily. Not even like a freaking kiss goodbye, just bye. No, not even a bye, just walks off. I gotta say, this story is really growing on me, though. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? They're gonna have it out. Emily, let's go. Like a balls. Hospitals have security. He'll shoot him. Oh, no, no. Hey, security guard, do your job. I mean, you'll get your ass kicked, but. Oh, he's gonna kill him. Or just make him pass out. I think he's gonna kill him. So, a quick bit of advice, guys. If you're ever getting choked, don't waste your time trying to pull it away from your neck. You're not gonna be able to do that. I hear the safest thing to do is to, like, attack your assailant until they stop, kind of thing. Like, once if they've got their hands on your neck, you jab your thumbs in their eyes.
Emily, give me the keys. <laughs> give me the keys, Emily. Emily, listen, listen, please, 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 this is not who I am. This is not, I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. And so, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street, because it was the only two nights at the bartender, and she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you, it took me a fucking year. Emily, if Monarch, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. Aww. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us. Our family. I did this to protect our family. And Emily, if you ever listen to me, something terrible is coming. And I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you. On my side. Please. Please. This is me. It's me. It's me. We have to go. We have to go right now. Got your proof. I don't think did that happen, or was that just the future? Yeah, it's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab, so I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended immediately. Okay, yeah, that's the future. Well, there we have it. Hatch has finally been caught out. Though, I still have no idea what his end goal is. Like, I mean, does he want Monarch for himself? Is he trying to stop the end of time? Or does he actually want time to end? You know, very... I mean, I know the thing about him wanting time 10 is kind of crazy, but the fact that he said, like, you know, your return to eternity, something like that, it just seemed very peculiar. Anyway, though, I quite enjoyed that story. It's definitely getting good, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like or subscribe if you have, and goodbye. Have a good day.